Yo, what's going on, my two family, and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing great. And today, we're back on the Madden 15 Ultimate Team, bringing you guys some head to head season gameplay. This game is actually a really close one as we drop the pick. That was supposed to be the pick that we get in the beginning of every game, but we drop it there. The first drop in a while for Alex Ogletree. So that is a surprise to see. And my opponent does convert on fourth down. So it is second and nine. And uh, we're lurking. He was potentially going to throw it there, but he got sacked right before he decided to throw it. So on the next play, he's looking to throw D'Angelo Hall away, but you're not supposed to do that. So we do get a semi-user play. Look at D'Angelo Hall breaking tackles. So we do get ball. First and 10 on the 45-yard line. We're looking. Doing this double coverage, that shouldn't have been completed, but it was swatted down. So look at CJ2K. Stumbling, that should have been a touchdown, but we did stumble. Potentially missed out on the touchdown. And look at that. Cam Chance. I think that's the 99 overall version. He was just playing amazing. After this game, I was considering picking him up, but I didn't have enough points to get him because he just played a really good game. He played really good zone coverage. He's really tall. He swatted a lot of balls down that was thrown in his vicinity. And that opened my eyes because him being so tall and his awareness to actually swat down balls made me interested in picking him up because I know he doesn't have really good catching. That's the only downfall to him, but he has really good hit power, really good zone coverage. He's tall, good awareness, good play right, good pursuit. So I'm looking to get that card. 99 overall, Cam Chancellor, really good looking card. But we do score a touchdown with CJ2K, so now we're up 7-0. My opponent converts the fourth down. So now it's first and 10 on the 31. He's looking, looking, going deep. And we almost get another pick. Uh, my other defender, I don't even know who that was. I think that was Glover. Kind of swatted it out of our hands. So that was potentially pick number two for D'Angelo. And what a good card he is. That is the legend, D'Angelo Hall. I had the ghost card in the past year of Madden 25, D'Angelo Hall, and he played really well. So I decided to why not get the 97 overall legend, D'Angelo Hall, and he has not disappointed yet. Really good card, really good zone, really good man. He plays everything really well and good catching in traffic, good catching capabilities as we give up our touchdown to Jordy Nelson. So now it's 7-7. Seven we're looking to get another touchdown. CJ2K on the outside. We almost broke that one loose. That would have been a huge game, which it was, but it wasn't the touchdown. So look at Steve Smith catching in traffic. Uh, in this game, we do switch Eli in case you guys were keeping up. We have Derek Carr. Uh, and after this game, I did switch it up as well. This is the last game with Derek Carr. I wanted to try him out because a lot of you guys were saying, oh, try uh, Derek Carr. And I did. Uh, was I disappointed? I, he's a solid card, but he's not what I'm looking for. He has good speed. He's a solid card, good throwing power, but I saw a better card. A card that was cheaper and has similar stats and even better throwing stats and even better throwing power than 97. I did switch him out. You guys may know who it is. Look out for the next gameplay. He is definitely on the field, and he might actually be staying on my team for a long time. I actually enjoyed the game that I had with him. Uh, I think he's better than uh, Derek Carr. Cheaper and better. What else is there to say? So look out for the next gameplay to see who actually who that is. In case you guys might want to pick him up yourself. I might do a player review on that card because I really enjoyed it. So when that video comes out that same day, you may get the player review with it. So just wait and see what that is. So at the end of the second quarter, my opponent tries to get his three points, but it was too far for him. So... After that, we did get ball back after half, so now we're looking to get another touchdown. We're looking to get the lead. We're looking to get the victory. After the last few games, we got a lot of rage quits, and my opponent is putting up a game with me. So actually, this game is actually more interesting than the previous one, so stay tuned to see how the final possession goes. So he sent a little heat. I wasn't ready for it, so good thing we didn't take the sack. So third and 10, we're looking to see Steve Smith. And Cam Chancellor, I didn't even know he was that fast. He caught up to Steve Smith. I really thought that was a touchdown. But he came, he saw, he conquered. So we do punt the ball, and look at Jamal Charles. 
same type of speed as Chris Johnson, and that was hard to catch up to him. So he had a huge game. So first to 10 on the 49, and he has Donato Robinson as well. Another speedster. And fortunately, we do get the touchdown saving tackle. So he's just running the ball really well. So we have to stop that. We have to force him to throw the ball. And on the next one, he does throw the ball. And we're not putting any light blues out there. And one thing that's getting on my nerves is that Demarius Thomas, that free card that everyone got, he is just a boss. I hope they do release a card potentially with the same attributes and same everything as Demarius Thomas. Hopefully, just release the same card. Make it a permanent card because that card is really well. I'm not using it because I feel once it becomes obsolete, I'm going to feel disappointed. So that's why I didn't I decided not to use them, which I should, which I should. But hopefully do they do release a card with the same attributes and everything. And on the next play, we should have got a pick there. But nobody went to put the hands up. But fortunately, we do force the turnover and we need the score. He got three points. So it's 10 to 7. We need to score a touchdown. It's the fourth quarter clutch time. So we're just throwing the ball. We're trying to get down the field. We're trying to get the game winning touchdown. We see CJ2K spin move. Almost broke that loose. So he does save the touchdown with a tackle. So now second and five. He sent another heater. He gets there. So we're looking. We're looking. We're looking. And we find Gronk potentially an interception. Gronk with an amazing catch and capability. So we brought this two minute warning. We are in field goal range. So we're not looking to do anything stupid as that play was pretty stupid. We're just looking to get a touchdown. We see Gronk. Oh, that wasn't even Gronk. That was Montreff, the rising star. I forgot I even had that card on my team. And he has a huge game. He's actually playing pretty well. And we see Gronk right there. Potentially another pick. But we don't give it up. That 97 throw power gets there for Gronk. And we're showing a kickoff. Is he going to return this? Who knows? Maybe we get the fumble. And what we do is get the fumble. The strip button is real. So that potentially ends the game right there. We kneel the ball out. And we come out with the close victory. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next gameplay. I'm signing out. Peace.